Good morning, YouTube. How's it going? This is Armando Vasquez from A Vasquez Reefing. A little quick video today on uh, quarantine, quarantine setups that I've uh, done. Uh, used them once. I took them off. I had a ick problem, like a couple of months after I built my tank. I set it up, and uh, one of my tanks started popping out with ick. So I went to PetSmart. Bought two 10 gallon ready to go tanks with a filter, the canopy, the lights, regular lights they have. So it was about a about a hundred bucks for both setups, I believe. I think they had a sale going on, which I learned after that always, always quarantine before you put your fish in. So I used one as quarantine with copper. And then the other one I used it just as a hospital tank. Okay. The way I know, I know once you put copper sticks to the silicone and they'll never come off. I ran it with uh, some sponge they have. They sell at uh, my local fish store. Uh, it removes your copper, removes all your uh, media, correction, all your waste. It's an awesome, awesome sponge they sell. It's like $13 for a pack. You could cut it in half. I used it in both. I ran carbon as well. Right now, I'm running some vinegar and some Clorox on it to disinfect them. I had them right in that little patio right there for about uh, six months, I guess. So I cleaned them up yesterday. Finally had some time. Cleaned them up, washed them up. Ran some uh, all night. Actually, all afternoon yesterday and some all night with some Clorox and some uh, vinegar. All right. I'm going to talk about the quarantine system. You buy a fish, have, you have to have a quarantine tank set up. doesn't matter the size. I've heard uh, one 10-gallon tank. I've heard uh, just buy a 20-gallon tank and put all your fish in there that you quarantine. Either or, that's your favor. Whatever you want, it's all good as long as you have a quarantine tank set up. How would it help? You buy a fish, it's stressed out with being caught, placed in a factory where they keep the fish, then they get caught again, shipped, they get caught again, placed in a, at the local fish store, they've been stressed, then on, on the flight, then they get caught again, then you're transporting them to your house. And then you catch them again and you put them in your tank. The little fuckers stressed. They are stressed. So you buy a little quarantine tank. You buy it. You're running. I'll make sure you always have water, salt water available. It's running with salt water, a filter pad with biological media ready. That it's that it has some biological filtration going on. Some live, basically some live bacteria. You don't want to, because then you have some ammonia spikes and all. So make sure it's already been running for a little while. You could use the old well, the water from your tank, put it in here, and it already has some uh, good water with live bacteria. So you won't have as much uh, or very little or none ammonia nitrate nitrate spikes. So you have your tank, you put it on, you put your fish, and make sure you paint all three sides black, black. Oops, I hit that. And black. The darker the better. That's what I've read. That's what I've heard. That's what I've Googled. That's what I've done. It works. Put your canopy on. Only turn on the light when you're going to feed the fish. I turn down 15 minutes before I feed him. And I'll feed him. And he's happy. Turn off the lights after he finishes. Also, a PVC piping big enough for the fish to fit. That's where they're actually going to hide. They feel stressed. They feel scared. They're going to go hide in there. Okay. No rubble. Just in case. No rubble. You don't want to be vacuuming or anything. This is not a show tank. This is a quarantine tank. Nothing special needs to be done to this tank. Just simple. Three dark colors. Filter just to catch all the food. Any poop. Any waste. Anything. Gets caught. Okay. Hospital tank simple like this now if you want to do a quarantine tank you're dealing with you're going to use it for for uh antibiotics
for some copper. Of course, that tank is only going to be just for that. Any equipment you use is just going to be for that tank. You cannot dip a fishnet into this tank and then put it into your display tank. You're going to damage your invertebrates, inverts. You're going to send copper into that tank. They don't like it. They don't react well. They're going to start dying off. That copper is going to stick to your life rock, to your sand, to the silicone, anything. Everything going to get, is going to stick to it. So whatever you use for your quarantine setup that you're going to use for copper, just use for copper. Okay. Those are the two tanks I have, the 10 gallons, but actually only 8 gallons fit. I don't know how. They say 10, but it's only 8 gallons to fit. So I'm going uh, to clean them up, ready to go, set them up again, and uh, have one running in my slash office slash storage room. Have it ready, set up in there for whenever I buy another fish, put it in there. Or one of my fish is sick, or it doesn't look too well, take it out, put it in there. And I'm probably going to buy another tank and make it into a frag tank. Right now my corals ain't doing too good for a little incident that happened. On the video, good ideas, bad results, and uh, put them in there with a little power head and uh, with clean water. See if that actually helps them bounce, bounces them back. Hopefully they will. So this is my little quarantine setup system. Hopefully you guys learned a little bit of it. Please do it. It's only going to help you in the long run, help your fish in the long run, and uh, have any problems. You have this little system to, for backup as a hospital, as a quarantine to this to uh kill any parasites on the fish for example ick um if you have any questions comments ideas please hit me up if you like the video please hit the like button and that's about it for today for this uh little quarantine system thank you very much can't stress it enough for the quarantine happy reefing have a good day Bye bye